Hello, I am back. Sorry it's been a while, but I'm back and we are continuing our journey through the NES alphabetically. We are now on letters Q and we're gonna go through R. So I am excited, I'm excited. I don't really remember what, I'm trying to think. For some reason, the game that sticks out to me that I know we're gonna play is Rescue Embassy Mission. And I and I think of it because I was like, I don't, like I remember Mike showed it to me a while back, but like, I don't remember how to play that game. <laughs> and then for Q, you know, it was gonna be Qbert, stuff like that. So um, I like playing Qbert in the arcade, but if I remember correctly, I feel like it's a little awkward to control it with the D-pad. But maybe I am remembering incorrectly. Maybe I'll control it just fine. Who doesn't love Qbert? Qbert is awkward with the D-pad, so it's not just me. Let me turn this up a little bit. Okay. Is this control okay? I mean, I guess. So, to the right, you go down. Down is to the left. I'm not gonna remember all this. Up left is left. And then up is just... Wait, what? Yeah, sure. I don't know. Let's just do it. <sighs> Alright. It's so awkward with the d-pad. I don't like it. I'm gonna fly off the- I was gonna say I'm gonna fly off the edge. I feel like that's what's gonna happen. No! See, I pressed right, but it doesn't send you right. I was supposed to press up, I think. Damn it, I'm trying to get a hang of the controls. Then I press up. No! Why did I do that? All right, let's try it again. You and Qbert can swear together. Qbert is a potty mouth, that's true. Fun fact, Qbert arcade machines were built with a pinball knocker that went off whenever you or Coily fell off the pyramid. Yeah, I played Qbert and it had the little thing. It's like a little kick. It's like a, it's, 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 it's like a little, what's the word? Oh my God, see, I did what I knew I was gonna do. Um, it's like a kick drum. It just goes, Buk. I like that sound. Okay, come on, Aaron. Try to do this. So, you know, in Qbert, you're trying to make all the squares yellow, but doing it with the D-pad is a bit awkward. Oh, I'm dead. Wait, what? I don't get it. I didn't see where I was. Maybe because I was too busy thinking about the arcade version of Qbert and the little thing. <laughs> hey, Super Neon Mike. Well, this is off to a great start, isn't it? It's always a bummer with these uh, alphabetical streams because you never know how they're going to start. And like, I feel like this one's starting off like kind of like a... Not awkward, but it's kind of a bummer note because it's just like... Stupid d-pad controls. It's like I can't get anywhere and it's so frustrating Okay, there we go Damn it. Well, I was getting a hang of the controls at least It's like not as intuitive as you would think Yay, we did it. We did it. We did it. Just kidding. This is this is off to a great start. What am I talking about? <laughs> And now we're turning the blocks blue. And I'm gonna die a lot. Okay. No, I had a hang of the controls and now I forgot which way was which because I'm scared because of the snake. I forgot his name. I did a video like years ago on, there was a Qbert joke book and it made me remember all of the bad guys' names. And they're escaping me right now, I don't remember. Shit! That's okay. So that's Qbert. Um, it's weird on a d-pad. I don't like it. And next up is Kicks. I like Kicks.
Another fun fact, Cubert Swearing was the original titled game. It was actually called Cubert Swearing. That would have been really awkward. It doesn't have a ring to it. Kicks. Not Kicks the cereal, but this is... Would you say Quicks or Kicks? I call it Kicks. But maybe some people call it Quicks, but there's no U. Anyway, one player. So you're trying to make lines around things. It's been a while since I've played this. There we go. So you hold down um, A. And then if you trap, I thought you could trap the things in there. Or maybe you're just trying to trap the other thing. But anyway. Basically, you're trying not to get hit by anything, but you're trying to totally uh, cover up um, the whole screen with the design. And it's a very simple but addicting game. Yay! So it could be it could be worse. It could be pronounced quicks. That would be that would make more sense because you gotta be quick. That's true. Maybe it is pronounced quicks. I don't know. You can get wait. You can get really high scores by trapping the kicks in a tiny area. So the kicks are the um, the thing that's flying around, right? That's that would be considered the kicks. So should I try to trap it? Oh, we died. Yeah, so you can't you can't let it hit the the line that you're making. It's it's like it's hard. It's hard to not get hit is what I mean. What? Oh, it hit me. I didn't see it coming. Ah, we're not- Damn it. Game over! Quarth is a fun game, but it's Famicom? Aw. Mike was playing Neo Quicks on PS1 and it was driving him mad. <laughs> It's like you're a Christmas gift wrapping the level. That's a good way to put it. Anyway, so that's Kicks. I could sit here and play it for a very long time, but unfortunately we gotta move on. So next up we have those Quattro Adventure Carts. I'm a little scared. Okay, so this has, see, see I'm kind of torn if I should do these or not, because these are already games that we're gonna be playing. Um, like we already played Linus Spacehead, we're gonna play Super Robin Hood. Did we play Boomerang Kid? I don't remember. I mean, I guess I'll just do it. But it's just weird. It's just, it's a weird decision because it's like we're replaying some of these, but what, what can you do? Yes, good old Codemasters. And it's messed up again. I'm gonna have to clean the cartridge again. How come every time? Oh, this is a little different. It's starting us out differently. Okay, how do I do anything? Oh, you have to ride the bubbles up. Yay, we got oxygen. This is really annoying. So I'm trying to ride the bubbles up And it's not, it's not that easy. And then the bubbles pop. Are there any bubbles over here? We fell, you can, you wouldn't fall like that underwater. That is not accurate. After you finish the NES library, what system's next? I'm gonna take a break from doing these alphabetical streams and I'm gonna just go back to playing games fully because I miss completing a game and getting real into a game. Like these, these are like variety streams, you know? They're fun, 
but it's it's been a lot. <laughs> but um, at some point, I'll probably do another alphabet stream. Just, I need a break for a while. I want to just play games. Two lives left. Okay. That's enough of that. So, and thank you, John3275, for subscribing for 21 whole months. Thank you. It's a cool change of pace for the stream, though. Well, that's good. I'm glad you guys are liking it. Okay, next up we have Super Robin Hood. Or no, I'm, I'm sorry. Boomerang Kid. So, the... <laughs> the select menu's messed up. Good job, Comerica. Oh, this is messed up. Oh, it looks okay here. But at first on that title screen, I was like, oh no, am I gonna have to clean the card? I, I will at some point. We got hit by a giant worm. Let's try this again. You like the alphabetical streams? Well, thank you, Rebel Dog Man. We don't have a weapon. Oh, I guess that's our weapon up here. No. Oh, it's not a worm, it's a snake, I bet. So now we go in here. Which way do you want to go? To Platypus Place or Shark City? Let's go to Platypus Place. Ah, uh, you can't... How do you jump over it? Boomy. Kid, Jason, Darren. I'm not done with you yet, Boomerang Kid. I want to figure out what the hell you're supposed to do. Oh, we have to get the boomerang again. This is so bad. <laughs> this looks amazing, says MVP. And it's one hit death. Shit! Oh, come on! Like, how am I supposed to get over that? Super Robin Hood is better. I remember Super Robin Hood not being, like, horrible. So I guess we're gonna select Boomerang Kid and that should play Super Robin Hood. We'll find out. Don't you have a boomerang? It didn't let me throw it. Oh, you don't even throw them? You collect them? It's called boomerang, kid. You should be able to throw your boomerang. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Anyway. Jukebox says, oh, I had this card. Love Super Robin Hood. Alright, but yeah, I remember this not being terrible. So we're just collecting things. Let's see. Oh my god, you shoot hearts. That's right. Let's see. Can we climb this? And we're collecting keys. Look how happy he is. He's having a good time. shoot down? No. I was trying to figure out how to open that barrel, but I don't know how. Ah! Oh! We exploded into hearts! Okay. So now we gotta go down here. Oh, he exploded into stars and he made a cute little noise. I'm sorry, Mr. Bat, but you were gonna hurt me. Look at that little guy with the arrow. 
I don't know how to hit him though because it would just go over him. Come on. Look at him! He looked at me! Did you see that? He turns his head and he looks at you. Ah! He did it again! <laughs> I don't like that! Alright. But yeah, you can't, um... You can't duck and shoot. <gasps> no! Can I go in here? Maybe we don't have the keys yet for everything? I'm not sure. Okay, so I guess I have to go up. This is super Robin Hood. I would totally buy a standalone card of this. I don't want the other shitty games. <laughs> I don't hate this game. I kind of like it. You're an, you're an expert at this game, Eat Bacon? That's cool. There's not too many super Robin Hood experts that I hear of. Alright, we have one live left. I thought we were dead dead. We're only a little dead. No hit run incoming. <laughs> you grew up playing the Quattro Adventures? That's cool. Okay, what was I supposed to do here? Because we got the key over there. Shit. Yay! Now somewhere else opened up. I don't know where, but I heard a door open. Where was the door? It was, oh, over there. So now I have to go back up. Okay. Okay. Little Robin Hood. Get Mike to do a run of Boomerang Kid to see how he rages. Oh my god. Can you imagine? He beats Boomerang Kid. Can you crawl? No. Shit! No! Game over! I was enjoying this! <laughs> anyway, so that's Super Robin Hood. Um, and we're probably gonna play that again. And now we have Treasure Island Dizzy, everyone's favorite egg. You can slide? I didn't know you could slide. Super Robin Hood is great. <laughs> nothing, a rubber snorkel. Nothing, nothing. Oh, can you use a rubber snorkel? Excellent pick, Aaron. <laughs> hey, Renter Burden, good to see you in here. Alright. Oh, have I not played this uh, Dizzy game? I feel like I only played the one where you start off in a forest. Oh my god, he can't go in the water. He drowned. Oh, because we need the snorkel. <sighs> Look at him go. Look at that jump. He's having a great time. The variety streams have been helping you get back into video games. You've been in a rut? Oh, that's good to hear, Telly. I mean, it's not good to hear you've been in a rut, but it's good to hear that they've been helping you get back into games. I don't know what to do because I'm going to die if I do that. A 
Wait, what did I do? Press A for music, press B for sound effects. Well, I don't... So you die instantly in the water, but I don't know what else I was supposed to do. So someone said stand on the rock? If I can get up there. I can't stand on the rock. I don't know. I'll go this way again, but I didn't see anything. Pick up rock and stand on it elsewhere? I don't even know how to pick it up. That would make sense. Oh my god. Oh, and then do you... Now how do you pr put it down? Oh my gosh! See, that's why I need you, chat. You guys, you guys know what to do. Look at that bee. He's flying all over the place. <laughs> the way he jumps is so funny. Thank you, Edward, for the raid. Thanks so much. I hope you had a good stream. The Snoggles Treehouse Complex deserted now since the wizard Zacks ruined their peaceful lives. That's awful. What's a good Halloween dinner in your opinion? That's a good question. I don't know. I've never really thought about it. I'd say pizza. Then you ask about Halloween parties. I'd say pizza is a good option because it's easy and it's good for parties. So my answer would be pizza. And pizza is also one of my favorite foods because I'm boring, but that's what I like in my heart. So I would say pizza. Other people are saying candy until you pass out. I mean that too. That's a good. That's a good answer. How do we get up here? Do I just... Oh my god, how did I jump that high? He's so happy. <gasps> he got smushed! Alright, so that's Dizzy. So that's Quattro Adventure Cart. Now Quattro Arcade Cart. Is there such a thing as pumpkin pizza crust? Would you try that? I really like pumpkin flavored um, pastries, but I don't think I would like pumpkin flavored pizza crust. Like I was, I drove by a Wendy's the other day and I saw that they had a pumpkin spice flavored frosty and that just does not sound good to me. Has anybody tried that? I feel like frost, like pumpkin flavored ice cream does not sound good. Like, they went too far. The worst was, like, a year ago at the grocery store, I saw pumpkin spice flavored sparkling water. And that's too far. That was... Not everything needs to be pumpkin spice. There needs to be a limit. Oh my god. <laughs> CJ's elephant antics. This is great. I'm excited. He shoots things out of his trunk! Pumpkin Spice Cheerios? That doesn't sound bad. I could see that being okay. Pop. Oh, he got a cupcake! What if this game is great? What if this is a great little platformer? What if our lives are about to be changed by CJ's elephant antics? No! Oh my god, he has a little umbrella! This is so cute! Krispy Kreme pumpkin spice donut? See, pumpkin spice donuts, those are good. I've never tried a Krispy Kreme one though, but... And then there's gonna be Scooby-Doo donuts? Krispy Kreme has crazy donut themes all the time, I feel like. I haven't been to a Krispy Kreme in years. <gasps> We accidentally hit the spikes! Okay. Look at these little poodles! <laughs> oh, we're not 
not doing too good. Oh, you can jump on them? Or can you not? Like, does it hurt you or not? I can't tell. How do you get over here? This is so weird. Yeah, the mom and pop donut places are usually the best. Because everything's fresh. Oh my god. I, can't, I like how he falls down when he get hit. But I can't tell if you can jump over... I mean, if you can jump on enemies or not. That makes sense. I hit a spike. Oh, it's an angry cloud. I wish you could aim up. Oh, I'm supposed to go over there. Oh shit, I didn't know those were spikes. I mean, now they look like spikes, but at the time it didn't look like spikes. No! Oh, game over. Well, that was kind of fun. Yeah, I'm gonna have to clean the cartridge again. That was a funny game. Okay, next up is Stunt Buggies. Let's see what greatness is this. I don't know, I don't even know what to say. Oh, I thought that was a crab for a second. <laughs> it looks like a cartoon crab, but it's a car. All right. Collect five bombs. This is cute. Two. Is that bad? Mystery. Like, are you supposed to touch those or not? I can't tell. Whee! Oh! Get ready! Wait. Can you, like, shoot? I wonder if you can shoot. I was trying to go up! Game over! Reminds you of Rally X. This was the inspiration for the Pixar movie cars. It probably was. That's Lightning McQueen right there. Alright, so that's that. What else do we have left on this one? F-16 Renegade. Oh god. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what Rally X is like. <sighs> okay. Is this gonna be like a Top Gun type thing? We probably played this one already. Some of these we already played. Oh my god. It's just silent. Ah! We're dead. No, no, we're, we're still, we're back, we're back. Okay, that explosion's a little much. We get it. I died. The the it sounds like a helicopter. I know it's supposed to be the sound of like the bullets, but it sounds like a freaking helicopter. Uh-oh. <laughs> when the new Rugrat game comes out, are you gonna be streaming it? Uh, maybe? I'm curious about it. 
That's a it's a Game Boy Color game, right? Or it looks like a Game Boy Color Color game. Thank you so much, Retro Gaming Knight, for subscribing for 51 whole months. Thank you so much, and ha happy October to you too, Rocksteady. All right, so that was that one. F16, whatever. F16 Renegade, and next up we have Go Dizzy Go. Go Dizzy Go. Yeah, wasn't that the, like, laziest, like, <laughs> schmuff ever? Sorry, I, I lost my train of thought because I saw Zax here on the screen. I need to clean this cart, but I'll try to play this one. Dylan found himself magically transported to a mysterious world deep in the ocean bed. So now we're playing as Dylan? I thought we were playing as Dizzy. Who's Dylan? Who's this Dylan egg? Do I touch this? No. Oh, I do touch those. Okay, we don't have anything to- we don't have any weapons. Yay! Dizzy wins! So we're Dizzy. We're not Dylan. Who is Dylan? Dylan is the egg on drugs. <laughs> I have no idea what happened. It's an... Oh, so the Rugrats game is an NES game made out of the engine used for Bonk's Adventure? I didn't know that. That's cool. Oh, this was a bonus stage and I ran out of time. Okay. Oh, now we're collecting cherries. First it was oranges, now it's cherries. There are lots of secrets in Go, Dizzy Go. To activate this one, press A on the space below. Okay. I pressed A. Oh. Wave goodbye to a nasty fish. Oh, okay. So it like got rid of one of the fishes? The enemy fish? The enemy fish. Uh oh. I think there's a fish coming back. I didn't play the NES Garbage Pail Kids game, no. The bomb kills all the enemies. Cool. But they come back really fast. Okay, do I have to get this? You can now walk off the sides. What does that even mean? This game is weird. It's like, it's a game. But it's just, it's just weird. I don't know. Dizzy, Dizzy has a weirdness to it. I kind of like it though, but there's definitely a little sprinkled in weirdness there. So hold on. I'm sorry to already take a break, but I'm going to clean this really quick. Or I guess I don't need to take a break to do that. I want to clean the console itself though. So hold on. I use this one up card thing. And I just wiggle it around. And it cleans the contacts. Now let's try it. Unlicensed. Were we on? Okay, so we did all the ones on Quattro Arcade. 
Now it's Quattro Sports. Ugh. This is my worst nightmare. Do I have to do this? Oh, I forgot about the monster in my pocket link. I'm sorry, Spinzig. I'll, I'll look it up on eBay, though. All right. So let's see what baseball pros is like. Baseball pros. Finally baseball, says Tiger. <laughs> Look how stoked this guy is. Well, this wasn't baseball. It's, this is pro tennis simulator. The menus don't work correctly. Why are all their eyeballs like pulsating? Who am I? Which one am I? I think I'm the guy up top. Whack. <laughs> this sucks. Wait, I can go over here? Look at the screen. It's fucked up. This game doesn't work well with Everdrives. <laughs> Look. <laughs> All right. So that's tennis, baseball. Next is BMX Simulator. <laughs> and it's more tennis. It's all tennis. What's soccer simulator? Is this gonna be tennis too? More tennis, and you know what? I bet I bet the last one's gonna be tennis too. Tennis isn't even an option on here. Oh no, it is, I'm sorry. Pro tennis, maybe pro tennis isn't pro tennis. <laughs> all right, so that's that. Anyway, next up is the letter R. And more sports, RBI baseball. Thank you so much, Nintendo fan, for subscribing to Tier 2 for 57 whole months. Thank you so much. Aaron plays tennis, he says. That was a lot of tennis. <laughs> and hello, little mixer. What's up? Okay, so this is RBI Baseball. Select your team. Uh... Is this fucked up? I don't know. I have no idea what's happening. Oh, thank you so much for the bits. I appreciate that. Oh, we're not doing too hot. Yay! Oh, foul. <laughs> I don't know. It's baseball. It's fine. RC Pro Am. I cannot control this game. I suck at controlling this game. Okay. Let's do it though. Let's try it. You love this game? A lot of people love this game. I don't hate this game. It's just... Oh, I, I didn't even start yet. I didn't know we were starting. I just... <laughs> I have a hard time controlling it, as you can tell. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, you can honk a horn. That's great. <laughs> oh, God. And it just says out. I'm a failure. This was the first game you ever played on NES, Nintendo fan? That's cool. Okay. I'll try to do this. I'll try to do this better. Why aren't you going? Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. Let's 
I'm just gonna honk until they go crazy. I'm gonna beat you all, just kidding. <laughs> My thumb was on <laughs> on the B button. It was like beep, beep, beep. <laughs> hey Jose, what's up? Where did you learn to fly? All right, so that's RC Pro-Am, but let's see what RC Pro-Am 2 is like. Hello, Yugi Master. I don't think I've ever played RC Pro-Am 2. Can we do any better? Probably not. Whee! Oh. I'm still second. I'm staying second. Oh no, and now we're out. Fourth. Third. A. Maybe RC Prime 2 I'm better at. I don't know. Second place! We are, we're on the letter R. Is there a way to stop the yellow car from cheating in this game? Does the yellow car cheat? Maybe it's part of the experience. So you have to get items and the arrows to stay competitive? Okay. Because you can like shoot the other ones, right? Like the other um, cars and stuff. You should add that one to the list for a few stream. For a full stream? You mean this one or the first RC Pro-Am? And then I could title it Aaron Masters RC Pro-Am. <laughs> it was good, Hex. It was good. Thank you for asking. The first one? I'd be so afraid to dedicate a whole stream to that game because I am so bad at it. But maybe. 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 People like RC Pro-Am. I know Mike likes it. Oh, hey, Flute Wizard, what's up? Momura says, once you get far enough, the yellow car cheats and goes extremely fast, beating everyone. Oh, really? That's crazy. That's fucked up. All right, let's see if I can do any better on this one. Oh, we're going a different direction. Different direction. Oh, God, I'm going the wrong direction. Shit. Oh, the, the arrows do that. Oh. I'm like missing all the items, but of course I, I get the oil and then my car explodes into a million pieces. Well, this isn't going well. Go. <laughs> I like the sound effects. Oh my god. I just, I can't, I can't play these games. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. All right, next up we have Race America. Another racing game. Not with that attitude. Well, maybe I need to stop being so uh, negative, huh? It tells you your fourth place right above your car as if to shame you into going faster. <laughs> Where's Beaker? I don't I haven't seen Beaker in a while. I miss Beaker. Racing and NES don't go well together. <laughs> Ray 2020 is coming up. Oh god, you're right. It is. <sighs> a lot of gems. A lot of gems coming up. 
All right, here we go. Uh, one racer. Oh my god, look at these people. I'm gonna be this lady with the giant eyeballs. Hey, that's my name. Oh, wow. Have I picked out my Halloween costume? Um, well, I... I'm wearing costumes for my Halloween videos that I'm doing this year, so kind of, but I don't know which costume I will wear on Halloween. So kind of, I guess is my answer. <laughs> All right, this is gonna be terrible. How do I, how do I go? Wait, what? So I'm on the bottom and I'm, I'm way in the back. So I'm the red car. Why am I going so slow? And that's that. Next up is racket attack. I was hitting buttons. I was hitting all kinds of buttons. I don't know how to shift gears. Nothing was working. All right. Barry! Uh, I don't know what this means. Let's, like, are we playing in the grass, I guess it means? Look, it's me. Oh my god. Okay, that didn't work. Oh, it's really hard to aim. Lots of NES games use up and down on the D-pad for shifting gears. Oh, okay, I didn't try that. Fault. Stop telling me fault. Yay! Oh. Let's see. No. All the people in the audience. All right, so this is racket attack. Next up is rad racer. Am I gonna wear any costumes for streams? Uh, probably closer to Halloween, yes. Which Pokemon are you dressed as this year? I saw, I was at Spirit Halloween the other day and they have like a Gengar onesie and I think they had an Eevee one too. I was tempted. I kind of liked the um, Eevee one. Dress as Misty. I'm surprised I haven't uh, dressed up as Misty by now. I haven't done a lot of things that I should have having red hair. Like I've never been Poison Ivy. And I feel like that should have happened already. I just, I don't know. <laughs> Sports games on the NES kind of suck. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, is this a 3D glasses one? Oh my god. The car is a ghost, I know. Ghost car. This should be called ghost car. No! Get out of the way. 
I'm the ghost car. Ah! We survived. You know why? Because we're a ghost car. From Broom. <laughs> music implying are we going to the circus what's happening I have no idea what I'm doing You're playing Rad Race with a Power Glove and 3D glasses. Oh, was this in the wizard? Thought I read something that someone said this was in the wizard. Oh yeah, Jose says that's one of the games for the wizard where he uses a power glove. I haven't seen that movie since like 2006 and I don't remember most of it. <laughs> anyway, so that's that. That's Rad Racer. Rad Racer 2! Is this one also like supposed to be in 3D? I like totally forgot about this like there's just certain, like, NES things that I've just totally forgotten about. Like, I forgot that Rad Racer was a 3D game and, like, you know, just certain things. Okay. Music, sing yourself, sure. Oh, this looks awful. I bet this was... And it's glitching. We're in the sky. <laughs> so that's ROM isn't working. Oh my god, we're flying in the sky. This is kind of magical. I kind of like it. We're getting some interesting glitches here. I'm going to clean the cartridge now. I cleaned the contacts on the console, but now I'm going to clean the cartridge again. <sighs> here, I'm going to take a really quick break and we will clean this. All right. Shall we try Rad Racer 2 again? Let's try it again. Why not? Let's see if we go in the sky again. <laughs> Hello, old school Kurt. Aaron went to a Katy Perry concert on break. That's an interesting choice. <laughs> Out of all the things. <sighs> Thank you, Wolfmaster. You're watching Cobra Kai again? I... I like, I forgot about Cobra Kai and then I was on Instagram and Peyton List posted something and I'm like, oh yeah, Cobra Kai. It feels like it's been so long. Okay, I'll change the music if I can figure out how to. Gumball Crash. Ooh. This music is good. Sing Yourself. Oh, that's why it's called Sing Yourself, because there's no music. Let's do Gumball Crash. This one's like... Yeah. We're still in the sky. But we'll play it for a bit so you can hear Gumball Crash. We're in the sky listening to our tunes. We're having a good time. There's palm trees in the sky. Maybe we're in heaven. This is great. See, it's still totally playable. Everything's fine. <laughs> anyway, so that's Rad Racer 2, and the ROM is messed up. Sorry. And next up is Raid 2020, everyone's favorite. I know, I'm using an EverDrive, and... It, it could be screwed up. I might need a new EverDrive. Um, or it's my NES. I don't think it's my NES, though. But... Wait, are we playing already? I'm on this... I was standing on top of that guy. This is horrible. Oh, 
This is great. What am I talking about? Okay, so I gotta jump over those because they're like. Okay. Oh my god, we got a jetpack. Now it's gone. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, I was supposed to use the jetpack and the birds are shitting on us. And there's a fly that wants us dead. What the hell is going on here? Oh, and we come out the other side. Okay. <laughs> this is so annoying. This game is really annoying. What have we been watching as of late? Um, nothing. We haven't really been on a show or anything lately. I don't know. Okay, this is just like, are those birds? They're, they're birds, right? Because what else would they be? They're birds pooping on us. Can we go in, can we go in any of these doors? Oh, and we came out the other door. That was great. Oh my god. The robots have attacked. <laughs> anyway, that's Raid 2020. I, ca I can't deal with that noise anymore. Raid on Bungling Bay? What the hell is this? Did I totally give up on Angel? I just forgot about it. Um, but I should I should give Angel another chance. I should try it again. 2020 was exactly like that, right? They predicted the future. You've been watching Vampire Diaries? I've never seen Vampire Diaries. I know some people really like it, though. Raid on Bungling Bay is the prototype version of SimCity. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. We'll check it out. Wait, is this another screwed up port? <laughs> Oh, we're a helicopter? I have no idea what's going on. This is so hard to control. Oh, we got one. We got one. And it's just going all willy-nilly. It, it goes so fast. I don't know. Anyway, that's that. Rainbow Islands. Oof. I like Rainbow Islands, but... That music's a little ear piercing. It's more obvious in the computer versions, I think, but the overhead view here is what became SimCity. Oh, okay. Thanks for hanging out, Laura Biting. So I was supposed to follow the arrow drop bombs on the factories? Oh, okay. So this is in the bubble bobble realm. So you make rainbows. But there's more to it than that, and I don't totally remember everything. Oh yeah, you can like... Uh oh, he's going crazy. It's 
it's it's it's a cute little game. Oh, okay, I screwed it up. It's weird. I don't know. It's kind of a weird game. For some reason, I have a memory of you singing the Carbell song while streaming this. Oh yeah, I was streaming this for a while. Uh, the, the, um, PC Engine one, I think. Damn it, all these ROMs are screwed up. I'm sorry, guys, that it's so glitchy. You think you clipped it? <laughs> They're rebooting the Power Rangers? That's interesting. I haven't- see, I watched Mighty Morphin Power Rangers when I was a kid, but I haven't really watched it since. Like, I- well, I did when I was like 20. I, I like had the urge to go through some of it, but that was like 15 years ago. So, I don't- I don't know. I don't have much to say about, uh, like the show, because I'm just- I don't- like, if you're talking about the newer series, like, I I don't know anything about the newer Power Rangers. Oh, I got it. I shouldn't have jumped up there. I was too busy thinking about Power Rangers. The original P Power Rangers is the only one I ever saw, yeah. Like, when it got to Turbo and stuff, I stopped watching it. Oh, shoot. Ooh, a shoe. Ooh, a donut. Oh no, we died in the same exact spot again. <laughs> anyway, so that's Rainbow Islands. It's all glitched out, unfortunately. Next up is Rally Bike. You weren't notified of the previous streams? Well, I haven't streamed in a while, so... You didn't miss many, probably. Wait, what, what is, what's happening now? I looked at the chat and I totally forgot what I was looking at. I don't remember what this game was called. But we're on motorcycles! Oh, we're gonna run out of gas. I thought I just ran over some gas, or did it not count? Now we're in the forest, or the jungle? This is wild. Woo! Looks like bump and jump, except you're on a bike. Yeah, kind of. Hey, Azmir, what's up? A-Z-M-R. I don't know why I said it like that. Maybe that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. Sometimes I read out usernames and I'm like, why did I say it like that? I thought you could run into them maybe. Like, bump them. I don't know what I'm doing. That wasn't good. Oh no, we ran into a bush! Or a tree. Well, that wasn't good. Alright, so we get the idea of this one. And next up is Rambo. Oh god. <laughs> I don't want to play this right now. <laughs> If I remember correctly, it like starts out kind of weird. Colonel Trotman visits Rambo in the military prison. Okay, we have an inventory and stuff. 
Rambo, I want to send you on a mission. It's a dangerous. It's dangerous, but you'll be free if you succeed. Our men are still missing. In a jungle in Vietnam, we believe they are alive, prisoners of the enemy. Your mission is to sneak into the enemy camp and find them. Are you up to it? Hell yeah, he is. I'm not afraid of death. I feel better in prison. He wouldn't say that. Alright. What's your favorite Rambo movie? I've seen the first one, and then I saw the one that was in theaters, like, 12 years ago or whatever. Um, that's it. So I don't really have an answer. Wait, wasn't there another Rambo movie not that long ago? Like, a few years ago, too? Or was that not Rambo? Hey, hey, Good Roberts, what's up? La yeah, okay, I saw that one. But wasn't there one also, like, probably 12-ish years ago? Don't I talk to these people? Yeah. I'm Erickson. I'm glad to work with you. Is that all he says? Okay. Rambo, forget about your absurd hand-to-hand -hand fighting. Military technology will work best. Go to the hangar. I have no idea what I'm doing. It's like the third time I've said that this stream, but I just, with a lot of these games, no idea. I'm talking to Erickson again. I don't know what to do though. Do I go up here? So, okay, we already talked to him. All right, I don't I don't know what to do. Hold up or down on that arrow on the floor? Okay. Oh! Okay, I pressed up. Okay, now we're somewhere else. Look at this guy. I'm Commander Murdoch. We want you to get into enemy territory and take photographs of the POW camp. You're not to engage the enemy. Photos? Not rescue them? I repeat, you're not to engage the enemy. Go to the weapon center and get ready. Okay, so now we need to find the weapon center. Which I have a feeling we are not gonna find. Should I press up again? So you can only go north and south. <sighs> I kind of want to stop playing this, so I'm going to stop playing it. Sorry if I'm disappointing anyone that I didn't get further, but I don't... Uh. Anyway, next up is Rampage. Rampage. I played the Nintendo 64 one a good amount. That that one was fun. Select mutant. I want to be Lizzie. I want to be a lizard. Did I select that one? Yeah. I haven't played this version in so long. Let me try to remember how to... How do I get out of the freaking water? There we go. How do you grab the people? I'm trying to like...
Like, how do I get on top of the... Okay. There we go. We ate one. I'm trying to get up on the side of the building. Oh, I guess we just, we just walk up to it. Okay. There we go. No, we got shot. Oh, did we die? Oh, and now we're back to our human form. Wait. Shit, I didn't mean to press that. There we go. We got some we got some wall meat, some building meat. Can't you pick up the people on the bottom too? This game is really long, is it? The master system one is better. This is newer. <laughs> Hello, Sammy Sheehole. 128 stages? Holy moly, that's crazy. I don't think I could do that. I would get so burnt out on this. The ending sucks too. <laughs> that's funny, I should look up the ending and see what it looks like. I don't want to touch that because I feel like that's bad because it's a skull. Don't you think? I think so. Oh, yeah. I accidentally grabbed it. Anyway, so this is Rampage. Sorry, I just spaced out. <laughs> And I was just getting into Rampage. But anyway, so that's the Rampage on NES. As a kid, my older brother and I left the NES on overnight so we could keep playing it and finally beat it. We were dedicated. Oh, that's awesome. You and your friend got 80% of the way through Rampage NES. I mean, that's pretty good if there's 128 stages. Alright, so next up we have Rampart. I haven't played this in a while. But I remember I actually kind of liked it. So let me see if I can remember how to play <laughs> Rampart by Jalico. Okay. And then you place your like, your cannons within the square. And then you aim. Fire! Yay! And then we have to repair. And you only have so much time and it gets crazy. Oh shit. Uh... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. Uh, 
Okay, so at least we repaired our little area. A couple of weeks ago, you went to a con with the panel screen people. Nev Campbell, Jamie Kennedy, Matthew Lillard, and more. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, shit. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> this game is really tough. You owned it as a kid, but never got close to finishing. I've, I haven't played it a ton. But I like the idea of it. Incoming raid? Oh no, I'm not ready for a raid. I'm scared. Well, it's a good time to raid because we're playing Rampart. Rampart! Holy moly. Thank you, Spiteful Frog, for subscribing for seven months. Thanks so much. And I will look at the chat in a second. Oh gosh. Thank you, uh, Centurion35, for subscribing for 30 months. And thank you, uh, Brian Evanson, for subscribing for five months. Thank you so much, guys. And thank you very much, Mike, for the raid. We're currently, I have nowhere to put my, I can't fit any more in here. What do I do? I don't know if I did that right. Sorry, I'm like, I'm into Rampart right now. We're currently going through NES games alphabetically, and we are on the letter R. So if that sounds fun, please stick around. Oh, we missed one. Just play Rampart. <laughs> Okay, so now we have two areas to put cannons. Blue enemy conquers. Did I screw up because I was looking at the chat? No, you- I, oh, I did win the level? I was gonna say, how did I lose? I thought I was doing okay. <laughs> These ships are going too fast. This one's going slow. Now I look silly for saying that, but some of them were going really fast. Uh that wasn't good. Alright, now we gotta repair this. Why do they keep giving me these stupid shapes? I had to do what I had to do. <sighs> I can't fit any more cannons in my little area, so we're screwed. Or I guess I could have put them outside. Where? We're not sinking all the ships this time. Oh man, okay, uh, I guess. Oh my gosh, why this shape? Uh, 
Oh, I can't put it there. Um. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. Thank you, Sniper27. Best place to control is the center of the map. Okay. Like sync. Oh, never mind. Oh, look at this one. This is a funky little shape. This gets hard. We didn't fill in our area. We're screwed. Mm. I think, I think we got defeated. We're dead. We lose. Anyway, that's Rampart. I kind of like that game. I think it's fun. <laughs> and next up we have Remote Control on NES. I like this game. You keep thinking I'm wearing elf ears because of the chair. People say that, and now I'm like, I'm not wearing elf ears. But people think I am. But I don't want to get a new chair just because some people think I'm wearing elf ears. <laughs> Please play a full round of this game? Maybe. We Sure, why not? <sighs> the colors are screwed up on this one, too. Oh, this one's really screwed up. Sorry, guys. But you get the idea. <laughs> Susan, you are in control. Choose a category. Uh, let's choose whatever. I can't see because the colors are screwed up. Ranger Bob. It's a visit from everybody's favorite outdoorsman, lovable Ranger Bob. You're losing 10 points but gaining a valuable safety tip. Say you're on the golf course and you accidentally step on Mr. Rattlesnake. Well, kids, don't panic. When the snake is finished attacking, simply report to the hospital within 40 seconds. Here's a Ranger Bob safety tip. Stay away from animals. All animals. <laughs> Thank you, Ranger Bob. Why are his eyes so red? Because he's been through a lot. Okay, I am back and now it looks better. So we can choose who we want to be. I never really figured out this part, like how to choose the character you want to be. Like it just always chooses Freddy, I feel like no matter what. Welcome to remote control. So let's see, so Freddy you're in control. Are we Freddy? I think we're Freddy, yeah. So we're Freddy. Let's choose number one. Bald guys. <laughs> These are people who are shining examples in their fields. If the light catches their heads just right. Answer these questions about celebrities who's, I guess it said who's bald. I don't know. Who had the most hair? Love Boats, Captain, Meryl, Stubbing, New York, Cop, Theo, Kojak, or Dead King of... I don't know. I never watched The Love Boat. I screwed up. All right, let's do, let's see what category two is. Whatever happened to old actors never die. They just find more demeaning roles to play. She's staying alive as a screenwriter, but Karen Lynn Gurney will always be remembered as John Travolta's dance partner in what film? I'm gonna guess number one. 
Nice answer and nice hair. Why, thank you. The guy with the sunglasses can't even look in our direction. All right, let's see what's in category three. Beaver TV. <laughs> what was the name of Wally and Beaver's sister? They didn't have a sister, right? I'm gonna guess they didn't have... Yeah. I don't know how I knew that, but I did. Good answer. Did you skip a lot of school as a kid? See, we're doing great. Let's go to category four. Beat the bishop. It's time once again for the Pope's favorite game, Beat the Bishop. Just complete a simple match problem. It goes too fast. This is your lucky day. All you need to do is multiply 11 times 11 times 11. I don't know. I think it's this one. I think it's, yes, okay. I'm not a total idiot. Let's see what category five is. Boy, were they stupid. Last season, I asked these questions to a bunch of blockheads who didn't know the answers. Let's see if you're any smarter. Oliver Douglas was a pathetic excuse for a farmer on Green Acres. What's the job he should have never left in New York? I'm gonna guess he was a lawyer. I've never seen, I don't know. Was it a lawyer? Okay, I'll buzz in. Where, let's see. Everyone say lawyer, you guys were right. Freddy is Tom York circa 1997. <laughs> Kind of. On another Green Acres. Which traveling salesman sold Oliver Douglas his beat up old farm? I don't freaking know. Mr. Haney? Hanny? Alright. You guys are right. Let's try a different category. Yeah, this game is from the 80s. MTV. Okay, maybe I could do okay with this one. Help Robbie Neville out by translating the title of his hit, C'est la vie, into English. The joy of life, that's life, live life. It's, that's life, right? Yeah. Yay! Bum, 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 bum. Let's do MTV again. Everybody knows the boss is home state, but what is John Bon Jovi's? New Jersey, right? It's New Jersey. Yeah. How? <laughs> I'm full of random pop culture knowledge, even about bon John Bon Jovi. Let's do MTV again. New Jersey. Tiffany, Debbie Gibson, or Lita Ford, which of these rock starlets was old enough to vote in the 1988 presidential election? I'm gonna guess Lita Ford. Yes! Because Debbie Gibson and Tiffany were like, like teen stars, you know? I want to do MTV again. No more MTV? I have to move on. Okay, what's category seven? Gilligan's Island. What natural disaster occurs when the castaways uncover a statue of an ancient tropical god? I don't know. All right, an earthquake. I knew it wasn't going to be a snowstorm. Do, 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 do. Not Gilligan's Island again. While the tiny ship was being tossed, one of the castaways threw the anchor overboard, but forgot to chain it to the ship. Which castaway? I'm gonna guess Gilligan. Yes. Totally a Gilligan thing to do. <laughs> Let's 
Let's see what category 8 is. Still more reruns. On 8 is enough, how many kids did Tom and Abby Bradford produce? 8, right? Or 4? I don't know. I've never seen that show. I don't know anything about it. None? Okay, I would have gotten that wrong. <sighs> the Bat Channel. Around which squawking villain would you find thugs named Octopus, Shark, and Swordfish? The Penguin. The Penguin! You can't believe this exists? I know, it's awesome. I love it. I wish they would do a remote control again from like, if they did late 90s remote control or like Y2K remote control, I'd be so good at it. And now for a quick commercial break. You like how edgy the host? <laughs> let's start round two. Okay, uh, let's see what number nine is. Flab TV, what's that? Pound for pound, these are some of the biggest stars in Hollywood. Oh, that's mean. What chunky ex-jock spends his time announcing football games, playing an Amish farmer, and selling flowers? I have no idea. The chat knows. Thank you, Kid Craig. Yeah, I just put up some Halloween decorations the other day. Late Great Heavyweight, who is a famous wine spokesman. Orson Welles, right? Aw, oh, shit. I knew that one, but I was too slow. Sylvester? Sylvester's out. He's here. I forgot the game's still going. <laughs> Yay, he's back. Halloween is back. <laughs> anyway, so he's here. Out of time. I screwed up. Oh well. Elmo. Who, who is that funny man? This guy? This is Sylvester. Sylvester? Yeah. From Looney Tunes? No, this is a skeleton named Sylvester. Is it from uh, that game you like? Cas Castle... Castlevania? Castlevania. No, but I think his brother's in it. I don't like video games. What do you like? Fire. Well, that's very dangerous and scary. Not if you know what you're doing. Do you know what you're doing, Elmo? No. I didn't think so. Can you make him do the dance? Yes. This is just gonna be chaotic with... What happened? He broke! Because they're not supposed to be holding it. I'm supposed ah! to set it down. This is the this is the rest of the stream now. I'm gonna stop this because I'm gonna drop it. Oh god, I can't turn it off. I can't turn it off. Ah! 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 <laughs> I almost broke this thing. Damn it. I like it, but there's there's one problem with it. What's the problem? I think his eyes should glow red like my eyes do at night when I watch you sleep. That would be scarier. It's terrifying waking up to that. How do you do that anyway? It just, that's a natural thing. I was born that way. Wow, well that that's crazy. I've never heard of anything like that. I'm gonna go get Ernie out of the bathroom. Okay, have fun. Because I have to go to party. Okay, well, go get Ernie out. Sometimes he says he doesn't mind to be in the bathtub though when I go party, but I don't want him to be in in the bathtub when in the bathroom when I'm going to parties. Well, Ernie's kind of kind of a freak, so 
I, I believe that. I believe that. What do you mean? He's, what does that mean? What is, He's into some things. What is... How do you spell freak? F. F? R. U? No. We're done here with this spelling lesson. CK, bye! You little... <laughs> you little bitch. <laughs> He's acting up. Elmo's... Elmo's getting way out of line, isn't he? Anyway... Alright, I forgot we were still playing Remote Control. Soap's channel? I don't know anything about soap operas. The days of our lives could be so painful. Tom and Alice Horton suffered for years. Are they the oldest, youngest, or middlest in the Fortin clan? I don't know. How many people watch you sleep? Just Elmo. And sometimes what's her name? Josephine on the ceiling. So two. A ghost and a Muppet. Hello, Sphincter Wrinkles. I'm doing good. How are you? All right, so we're going to move on because this is now... We forgot what was happening, but remote control is great. I'll probably do another stream of remote control at some point. I've done a video on it, so look up Aaron Plays Remote Control if you want more remote control. And next up is Ren and Stimpy Show, comma, the... Beaker does not watch me sleep, no. The Ren and Stimpy show, here we go. A jump, B run. Hmm. Let's do that one. Stimpy says, Eureka! Old buddy, old pal. What is it, man? My latest invention, the Gametron 5000 Moneymaker. The what? The first video game machine that rewards you with big bucks. Don't just stand there, you idiot. Let's play. We'll be rich, Stimpy. Rich. Blast off to adventure with Commander Hoke and Cadet Stimpy. What? What does that say? Mission one, spring Ren past transporter and get him to exit. So we have to get Ren to the exit? I don't get it. So you gotta keep pushing him to the transporter. I don't get it. Oh. Okay. What's happening here? I don't think I've ever played this Ren and Stimpy game before. This doesn't look familiar at all. Like, I played the ones on Super Nintendo. Look at all these, like, turkeys. No! We're gonna die. Oh, we're supposed to touch the money. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay. I don't understand what's going on. It wasn't that bad. Once you learn how to beat it, you can beat it in like 15 minutes. Oh, was that log? Log, log, log. 
And now we're gonna play another game by getting up in there. Now it's back to this. I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know if I was not supposed to go in there. Okay, anyway, so this is Ren and Stimpy. And the next up is Renegade. From Taito. This game kicks ass, does it really? Universe River City Ransom. I like how, like, intense he looks when he's, like, kicking them in the crotch. He, like, looks them in the eyes like, I fucking hate you. Look at him! He has so much anger there. I'm horrible at this. <laughs> Thank you, and I think we got a, um, raid. Thank you so much, it's me, Alex, for the raid. I hope you had a good stream. We're currently going through NES games alphabetically, and we're just messing around with a game called Renegade right now. So please stick around if that sounds fun. And thank you again for the raid. Oh my goodness. So, The person who said this game's awesome, were you like serious? Because right now it just seems like a typical run of the mill, like, beat em up. But maybe it's great, and maybe I just, maybe I haven't realized it. Get lost, punk! <laughs> the same people who made Renegade later made Double Dragon River City Ransom. Oh, okay, so that's why, like, some of the characters look kind of similar. That's interesting. Okay, cool. So that's Renegade. And next up we have Rescue Embassy Mission. I don't remember how to play this. I don't remember. Oh, you like this game? Okay, so a lot of people like this game. Well, I'm sorry I didn't play it longer, but we have a lot of games to get through. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I remember how to do this. This is a weird one. I don't know. I'll be a lieutenant, I guess. Training. I don't remember what to do. So I just remember you can't let the light hit you. Are we going to make it? Oh no. <laughs> no. Uh oh. Oh, we got shot. Oh, there he goes. There goes Mike. <laughs> He's dead. He's an angel now. You can do so much cool stuff in Renegade, though. You can ground pound, throw people, jump off, jump kick off walls. It's crazy. It came out in 86. Oh, that's cool. All right, now we're Steve. Steve. Let's see. Hopefully we don't kill Steve also. Shit. See, I don't have the patience for this. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Steve's gonna be dead too. Hello, Richard87. Well, shit. And now it's time for Jumbo. No. <laughs> 
I was trying to go in there. Could I not go in there? So Jumbo made it. We're on letter R. Oh, and this we like, we're just looking for people in the windows. And then if you see anybody in the windows, you shoot at it. And it's just quiet. Yay, we got one. <laughs> and it's just awkwardly quiet. <laughs> Silent sniper, I guess. It's so quiet. I don't see any other people. I think we got them all. There was only one person, maybe? Oh no, do I hear Ernie? Ernie, what are you doing? Okay, I thought Elmo asked you to get out because he had to go to the bathroom. Elmo, Elmo said that he was going to go out. Okay. He's out on the town. Well, as usual. It's better him out there than in here. What if I just shoot random windows? Just kidding, I am here! Oh my god, that was so loud. <laughs> Elmo! Boo! What? <laughs> Why don't you, what are you gonna do? Why don't you go out and do something? I don't have anything to do! I'm a boy! Well, maybe you should go take a walk. Can I bring the matches? No, you can't do that. Okay, let's move on. So that was Rescue Embassy Mission. Next up is Ring King. Is Elmo in jail? <laughs> Not right now. You would think he would be. Okay. This is the game everyone thinks is funny because it looks like that. I've never actually played this, I don't think. Oh wait, no wait, I have. It's just been a very long time. Why are you hugging the opponent? Because they feel bad that, um, wait, which one am I? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Thank you, Super Jeff, for the raid. And there's what everyone thinks is funny. I mean, it is pretty funny. <sighs> it's so bad. It's so obscene. How did this get passed? How did this get passed by the Nintendo sensors? I don't know. I mean, he's supposed to be doing something else, but it really looks like he's doing that. Hello, Joshua32. Come on. This is getting tiring. 
Okay, we get it. Ring King. <laughs> Next up, we have River City Ransom. Thank you so much, Spiteful Frog, for gifting a sub to Sphincter Wrinkles. Thank you so much. All right. My hand kind of hurts, but we will try to play this for a while. Message speed. Normal, I guess. So I do like this. Um, I didn't know until, cause I didn't really give this game like too much of a playthrough just because I'm like, cause beat em ups hurt my hands. But um, there's like a mall in this and I'm like, I could have included this in my mall video, right? Isn't there like a little shopping center in this? It's better as two player co-op. I could see that, but I like the look of this game and I think it's cool. Oh. oh, we missed our money. Oh, well. Now we're in Sticksville. What did I get Mike for his birthday? Well, it's a surprise. I can't tell you. Because he's in the chat. Skater Die 2 has the best NES mall. I'm trying to remember what that. I can think of Skater Die, but not Skater Die 2. Now we're in the mall. Mall games, part two. I can't hit the, the mom and child with the stick. Okay. Can we go in here? Let's go in here. Rise and shine, what can I get you today? Ooh, I want waffles. Let's get a nice cup of coffee. Is this what you would like? Yes. Alex drank the coffee. Willpower, two up, okay. Stamina, nine up. Max power, one up. Anything else? Yes, since I have $22, let's get some waffles. Cause that's the most expensive thing on the menu. And I feel like it should do something good for us, right? Alex ate the waffles. Agility, one up. Strength, one up. Stamina, one up. Anything else? No. All right. He's feeling good. Why does the waitress linger at your table and watch you? Because she's crazy and she likes to watch people eat really intensely. She just stares. Hey Sergio, I'm good, how are you? I wish I was eating waffles right now. All right, let's see. Ah! No, stop it! <laughs> stop hitting me with the chain! Yeah, we're just beating the shit out of everybody. I can't get up there. What's your favorite waffle 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 <laughs> waffle topping? Um, I like just plain waffles with butter and like syrup, or sometimes some strawberries or bananas, good. But I usually like them just with syrup. Thank you so much, Rockman, for subscribing for 19 whole months. Thank you so much. French toast is your favorite. I like all of it. I like pancakes, I like French toast, and I like waffles. Depends on my mood which one I want. Right now, I want waffles because this game's got me thinking about waffles and I'm hungry. 
<laughs> oh, damn it. Alex has lost all of his power. No. Now we're back at the mall. Rise and Shine Cafe. That is so cute. Let's get let's get um some pancakes this time. Stamina maxed out, max power ate up. Anything else? Yes. How about some hot cocoa? Yes. What does this do? Defense up, stamina up, max power up. Nothing. Okay, now let's see how we are. <clears throat> Do, 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 do. Oh. Oh. And someone said, what's the best beat em up on NES? That's a hard question. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot that people like, like Double Dragon 2, this one, um, Turtles 2. I don't know what you would say would be the best, though. Depends on what you like. All right, let's go back over here. Everyone's saying Turtles 3, Mighty Final Fight, yeah, Battle to. I didn't mean to go back into the mall. Damn it. <laughs> barf. That is funny that the enemies say barf. This game's good. I like it. I want to like spend some serious time with it one day. Cause that would be fun to do like a whole stream of this. I would totally do that. Hold it, Rocco says, oh it went away. Don't try to leave on crutches. <gasps> Is that a threat? Stupid bitch. I will throw you across the floor. Stop already, you're hurting me. Then why'd you threaten me? Okay, now where do I go? I guess now I have to go to the mall. It's so funny to see he's like, he's like in the mall and he still looks pissed. Now we're at the waterfront books. May I help you? Let's get Mystic Seer. Oh wait, I don't have enough money. How about Comic Times? Thanks. Alex got the Comic Times. Anything else? No. So did it- did we learn anything or did we just waste our money? I thought, like... It's unclear what getting Comic Times did. It was wasted. Press start. Belongings. Alex read the book. Alex enjoyed the light reading. Oh, okay. So we had to read it. So our weapon got up, defense up, willpower up. That's cool. 
See, I'm learning something new. Oh my god, why is he going so fast? Capitol Avenue Bridge. Roxy. What's up, Alex? Roxy has news for you. Randy and Andy are Cindy's kidnappers. Not Randy and Andy. She is locked up at RC High's top floor. I heard she's in the far right room. But to rescue her, you must beat the twins. They're both clowns, but are very strong. Do they mean literal clowns? <sighs> Power up or you'll be in terrible danger. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we gotta go find... We gotta go find these. Okay, if you double tap, you run. That's good to know. Oh my god, I thought that was a giant eyeball at first. <laughs> Shit. I'm into this. I'm like really enjoying it this so far. The last two times I've played this, I'm like, I need to come back to this and do a full stream of it. And I really should. But I'm probably going to stop pretty soon because it's kind of hurting my hands. But this is fun. So anyway, guys, I'm going to stop the stream here. But I will pick up the next stream and finish up letter R. We don't have that much left in letter R. And then maybe we'll go on to letter S. <laughs> Does it go in the notebook? I think it's already in the notebook from the last time I played it on a variety stream. Hello, what's up? It is time to finish up letter R. Sorry, my monitor was like turned a bit and I just noticed it now and it caused things to fall over. <laughs> okay, so we are still on letter R. We left off on River City Ransom. Well, that's the last game we played. And now it's time for Road Blasters. Look at that. That just screams quality. Let's turn the music up just a tad, cause it's awesome. <laughs> Hello, mate. All right, here we go. Forest section, Bubble City. Uh, Bubble City, of course. Okay, so we shoot. I feel like I've played this before, maybe. Maybe. Oh my god, is everything on fire? Or those are just like... Oh wow. Maybe I've played a game similar to this. What's these bubbles in the street? Is this why it's called Bubble City? Because there's green bubbles in the street? I guess those are supposed to be trees, but they kind of look like cars on fire. What happened? Oh, I ran out of fuel? Well... Oh, so I'm supposed to like slow down. I don't totally get it. Like, am I supposed to grab those? I'm not sure if I'm supposed to grab those. It made a noise when I touched one, but it didn't seem like I blew up. Let's try it again. I'll grab it again. So I am supposed to grab those. I don't know what they are though. It makes a sound though, the sound's good. Like it sounds like it's a good thing. Ooh, do I grab this? Is this fuel? <gasps> I burned! No, I crashed and burned. Oh my god. Road blasters! Isn't this great, guys? 
Yay, we made it to the finish line! They were fuel? Okay, they were fuel. I guess that makes sense because I was able to continue. Hello, Dr. Fuzzy Boots. This is how Aaron drives in real life, says K-Train. You don't know that. I'm, a, I'm an excellent driver. I am not reckless. Why am I playing this some more? Oh my god, there's helicopters now? They're trying to pick up my car? And bring it in the helicopter? That would be terrifying. You're just driving and all of a sudden a helicopter comes up and like, put, like takes you in the sky. Can you imagine? Oh, we blew up. All right, come on, keep going, road blasters. Let's get, let's get this fuel. Don't you think those could have been like oil cans or something, like oil tanks? Ooh, what's that? Oh, I was supposed to grab those. I thought they were like oil spills on the road, but I think they were just orbs. Because we're collecting orbs in this game. It's all about orbs. And we crashed into a bush. Alright, let's keep going. And I'll look at the chat in a second. I'm just, I'm too busy playing Road Blasters or whatever the hell this is. <laughs> it's Atari 7800 pole position with guns, kind of. Have I ever seen giant potatoes next to the road before? No. You know what? That seems like it'd be something out of Bible buffet, honestly. Okay, I think we're good on this. I should move on. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Now we played Super Robin Hood earlier because it was on one of those Quattro cards. But this is Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, which is different. Oh, the helicopter was trying to give me another gun. So the helicopter was good. I thought it was trying to pick me up and take me away. Well, learn something new. All right, new game. Third year of the Third Crusade. Arab Dungeons at Sunset. Oh no. Quiet Englishman, or you'll your turn will be twice as long. Can I take that sword? Yeah, I got a sword. Yeah, that's right. Free at last! I saved somebody! Not unless we get out of here. Lead the way. I'll try to keep up. Peter has joined Robin's band. Yay! Alright, so now we're gonna go through this door. The door is locked. Of course it's locked. Well, where do I go? I don't know where to go. I'm like, do I, I don't know how to search this guy's body. Thank you so much, 12 Pack Tommy, for subscribing for eight months. Thank you so much. And hello, Tony. And hello, Broken Riku. Hello. So I don't know what to do. Hello, Alex. Do I hit the wall? Do I hit this guy's body some more? This is Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. And so far, this kind of sucks. Alright. Well, since I can't get any further, I guess we're moving on already. Because I can't find the stupid key. Alright. So that was Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Next is Robo Warrior. We're a robotic warrior. And this is our home. This planet that changes colors. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, look at that. What a peaceful scene. I bet something's gonna happen that's bad. 
It's too quiet. See? Oh, everything turned to red. That's crazy. Robo Warrior. That was a sound. <laughs> I don't know why this is making me laugh. Oh shit, that's a bomb. And we just hurt ourselves. Do I blow up trees? I guess we do. Shit. No, I'm gonna die already! Oh, I, I blew myself up! You remember seeing magazine advertisements for this game? Well, okay, let's let's try this again. That didn't that didn't count. Hello, Eric. Hello, Jukebox. Do I like Dark Souls? I've never played Dark Souls. So I don't really have an opinion on it. You're surprised there's a Dark Souls Super Nintendo D-Make? Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised too. You would think that would be a thing by now. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get over here. Wait. Oh, we found stuff. Oh, what's that? Yay! Look at this thing! It's like a spine. It's a snake with a... It's either a snake with a skull on it, or it's somebody's spine wiggling around that came to life. Yay, we got some items. This doesn't seem bad so far. Like, this seems okay. Shit. I guess the, the soil is now red. Earth is now red. And we need to save it. Oh god, we're gonna get hit by these things. What's that? What's that noise? I don't like it, it's scaring me. What is that? It's scary. It sounds like an alarm. Like I'm terrified when the smoke alarm goes off and this is giving me those vibes and I'm getting anxious. I don't know what it is. Oh, did I run out of time or something? What was that? I was always running out of air. I was running out of oxygen. Well, how? So I'm supposed to. What? That sucks. Well, I kind of, I kind of liked it though. So I'm gonna write it down in the notebook, in the handy dandy notebook. I just don't appreciate that noise. That was terrifying. So I needed to get more oxygen. Like, well, that's fine. It can tell me I need oxygen, but do it in a different way. <laughs> okay, so this is Robo Warriors, right? Robo Warrior. 
Robo Warrior. For some reason, I thought that was gonna be um, kind of like a, like I thought it was gonna be a, a Color Dreams game, but it wasn't. So that's cool. <laughs> I've been okay, Eric. How about you? Was that noise worse than the baby crying in Yoshi's Island? That is also very stressful, but I find beeps like that worse. I don't know. It drove me crazy. Kind of like how in Zelda it does that. Like, I just, I don't like it. But that beep was, like, really bad. That was bad. Okay, next up we have Robocop. Good old Robocop. I feel like I said that weird. I said that like I never heard of Robocop before. Like, oh, this is something called R Robocop? Anyway. Does Robocop need oxygen? I think he's good. Well, he is half, he's like half and half. He's like a cyborg, so maybe he does. That's a good question. I don't know my Robocop lore. So I, I can't tell you. We're gonna punch this guy in the face though. We're punching everybody in the face because we're Robocop. Punching motorcycles in the face. Oh, I'm sorry, dog. I felt bad. I don't want to punch the dog. Can we go up here? Look at him go up the stairs. He's so... What is that? Pepper? Power? Go down the stairs. Can we go this way? Nope. Come on. Go down the stairs. Go down the stairs! <laughs> oh! Did we just get a gun? We did! Why are there so many evil dogs? Ah! Ah! We just punched that motorcycle and it blew up. Can we go in here? No. Damn. Ooh! More pepper! It's like we're playing uh, Burger Time. Okay, what's another beep? Why is all these games beeping at me? Oh, look, it says Data East in the back. Yeah, that's right. It's gonna punch you in the face till you die. That wasn't bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, this, this one has that funny mouth in it. Blah, 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 blah. The Robo- the Daddy East Robocop arcade game was great, this not so much. Yeah, I bet the arcade game's pretty good. Oh my god! Can we aim like that? Oh, we can aim like that. Yay, more pepper. At least there's plenty of pepper. God, flamethrower. Where are these people getting these weapons? Where are these people getting these weapons? I can't even speak. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. <laughs> Why am I having fun with this? Like, I know it's not good, but I'm kind of having a good time. Wait, do I go in here? Yes, I do go in here. Oh, 
another gun. I'm just going further and further into this building. I don't even know what building I'm in. Could be a bank. I bet it is a bank because there's like safes and whatnot. Do -do 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 -do. Theme song in NES is nice. I know, isn't it kind of like... It sounds so peaceful. I should play the arcade version of this. I really should. Wait, did I just go backwards? I might have gone backwards. I don't remember where we came from. Or... Like, am I going back and forth? Hmm... Keep going left. Hey, Edward. Okay, let's go back in here and go left. Oh! See, that's why I need you guys. I didn't know that. Oh, stairs. Oh, wait, wait, what's this? Something. Let's go up here. Oh no! Oh! No! Game over! Robocop is never discouraged. Let's challenge again. Oh, that's uplifting and nice. That just keeps you wanting to play. This is Robocop. Alright, so that was Robocop. I had fun with it because I'm a crazy person. And now it's time for Robocop 2. Hello, Roller Corp. Do you think most NES games have trouble with stairs? Uh, I feel like some do and some don't. I'd have to really think about that. This is the bad Robocop game. Yeah, this- oh yeah, this one sucks. This is where you're like really- you kind of slide around a lot. Yeah, and you're collecting the- whatever that stands for. Nitrogen. I remember this. I think I talked about this in a video before. I mean, I guess it makes sense because you're really, like, you're a big hunk of metal, so you're gonna, like, go sliding around, I guess, but it's just... Shit. See what I mean? It's, like, not quite... not quite right. I get that. Oh shit. Okay, let's go up here. Oh shoot! No! And then it starts all the way back here. Yeah, there was a nerd Robocop video. There was. Yeah, the graphics aren't terrible, but just the gameplay sucks. It's like you feel- your sprite feels very heavy and slippery. Which doesn't make for jumping. It doesn't- it's not good for- no! Shoot. Well, that's okay. At least we didn't fall in the water. Because Robocop can't swim! God, oh my god. <laughs> it's so annoying. <laughs> ah! Ah! 
I like how he spins his little his gun and does that. <laughs> anyway, so that was that. I think, yeah, I didn't destroy enough of the the nukes. That's what the N stands for. I forgot. So I didn't destroy enough nuke. So A failed. This is so all over the place. It's so hard to aim. Is that a zombie? It looks like a zombie. just stop I can't move anymore now what is it gonna tell me incoming message like well this game isn't a zapper game though and hello Ty the blockbuster guy so yeah this is Robocop 2 it's it's not that good and now there's Robocop 3. I'm trying to remember what this one's like. This one's from Ocean and Probe. So that's always great. Oh wow, we just start? Okay. So we can angle fire, but we can't fire straight up. Okay. How do I get up there? Do I jump on a trash can? Oh, I can't go back. Who's shooting at me? Turn around. Damn it, I can't go back there to get the power. This also feels kind of heavy when you jump, which, but like in a better way. And like you can kind of hear the like the metal. I can't jump down there, that sucks. It just says punk on there. <laughs> this is like, I don't know how to explain it. It's not good, but I don't know. It's like whatever. Thank you so much, Drawn Unicycle, for subscribing for two months. Thank you so much. I'm glad you caught one of my streams. The rest of R has... R has been... There's been some okay stuff, and there's been some bad stuff. But it hasn't been, like, too bad. Because there's been some letters where most of the games are trash. And I feel like this one hasn't been that bad. Okay, so we're up here. It's like, this is playable. Come on. 
come on. Oh my gosh, we exploded from the head down. We just disappeared. I'm good, Sergio. How are you? And thank you so much, Retromaniac James, for subscribing for 29 whole months. Thank you. Okay. Well, so that's Robocop 3. And now it's time for Rock and Ball. What the hell is Rock and Ball? Why does the game over screen look like you're flying through space? Because they probably used that for another game that was like a space game and they just threw it in this one. That's what I'm guessing. Yeah, we did River City Ransom um, last night. I mean, not last night, but the last stream. And hello, Big Owl. Oh, this is a pinball game. Okay. Let's see what this is like. Oh, we could choose a character. Oh, she's- I want to be the purple-haired girl. Okay. Boing. Remember that one game we found that was like, it was like an RPG pinball game? That was interesting. Hello, Big Owl. I'm good. How are you? You're decorating your room with 4x6 horror wall posters and you're watching my stream? That's awesome, Living Dead Jay. That's cool. I hope you're having fun. Oh. Wonder what happens if we get that burger over there. No! Ah. Pinball Quest is an interesting one. Is that the one that's um, also an RPG? I think I wrote it down. Oh, I did write it down. Yeah, Pinball Quest. I wrote RPG pinball game. Yeah, the flippers are pretty small in this. It's very short. It's like... This is alright. I mean, it's cute. It looks cute. It's just... Not the best <laughs> pinball game. And what's after that? Rocket Ranger. From Cinemaware. And Chemco. Rocket Ranger, there he goes. Invasion from outer space. The year is 1990. An alien moon appears in the night sky. Waves of rocket ships descend upon Europe, carving out a new country, Greater Lutonia. A strange force field protects the moon from American and Soviet missile attacks. <laughs> in the dark hours of morning, Lut Lutonians land a zeppelin in Washington, D.C. and kidnap the top American scientist Otto Barnstoff and Jane, his beautiful daughter. The airship turns to escape high above the Atlantic. If you hurry, you still might foil Commander Cra Craig's plot. Get going! Oh, it's one of these. Let's go to the war room. The general. You report to the CIA's director, Fred Bulldog Brady. He orders his top five agents to be placed in your command. Cool. Uh. I don't want to play this. Lutonius, not infiltrated. Infiltrate cover. Lo what? I don't know. We're on letter R. <laughs> I agree, Ty. I thought that was weird. Alright. Um, I don't want to play this, so I'm going to move on. 
All right, next up is The Rocketeer. Another game I don't really want to play, but at least this is playable. In my opinion. Somewhere in Hollywood, legendary screen star Neville Sinclair berates one of his hired mobster somebody. Okay, so Wilmer hid- uh, I went too fast. You incompetent imbeciles. Meanwhile, nearby Chaplin Airfield, ace pilot Cliff Second and master mechanic Ambrose PB- It goes so fast. Where did this come from? Odd looking contraption. How do you suppose it is? It's later that morning. Okay, so I never saw the Rocketeer. Oh, I, I remember you're supposed to be punching these. Cause like items can come out of these. And then you have to get fuel, I remember, to like fly. So you can only fly a little bit. Like how would you know to punch these? Like it doesn't look obvious at all. Hey Wolfmaster! Oh, see, we got something. Oh. Oh. Hey, Night Shadow, I'm good. How are you? The fuel is the hardest part of this game. I remember it being like hard to get or something. climb this ladder? Oh, I thought it was a ladder. <laughs> hey, we got something. I don't know what, but we got something. It went away too fast. Can I duck? Oh, I can duck and punch. I didn't know I could. I'm punching all of these in case something's in here. Okay. Hmm. Where do I go next? Oh, maybe I go- oh, shit. Shit! Oh, uh. That wasn't good. Oh, wait. I went from that way. Which way do I go, then? Do I go down here? Oh, I go over here. Oh no, I died! No! You could- oh, you enjoyed my controller video? Thank you, Professor Retro, I'm so glad to hear that. I want to do another one, or one with consoles or something, so it's good to hear you liked it. What is your opinion of- of 16-bit and 32-bit pinball games, and what are your top 10 favorite from those decades? You meant 8-bit? Um, top 10's hard, but there's, I think there's a lot of good, um, NES and, uh, Game Boy pinball games. Like, I like, um, I'll try this one more time, I guess. Maybe we'll get the fuel. Um, what was I gonna say? Like, just regular pinball and NES is pretty good, I think. I like, uh... I like Pokemon Pinball on Game Boy, and I like, uh, Kirby Pinball's cool, but like, I remember that being kind of tough, but it's good. 
You know what's a good pinball game on Game Boy Color? Little Mermaid 2. It's not a bad game. It's like a decent pinball game. Oh god, this guy disappeared. Hello, Retro Junkie. You liked my video about the Qbert book? I haven't thought of that in so long, and then the other day when we were playing Qbert, I was like, oh my god, the Qbert joke book video. That was a long time ago. I remember when I was filming that, it was raining. Like, it started raining really loudly, and I was like, hope, trying to get it to not pick up on the video. Because <laughs> it was like, really loud. <laughs> Oh, and that reminds me. I thought it might be fun to do a stream where we watch old episodes of Aaron Plays together. Would that be something you guys would want to see or does that not sound interesting to you? Like, does that sound boring? I thought it could be fun to like, talk to you guys about it in the chat. And like, just reminisce. Thank you so much, Phidias McCormick, for subscribing for 51 whole months. Thank you. You guys would like that? Okay, cool. So that might happen soon. I'd probably, I'm trying to think how I do it, I'd probably download some, like, have them on my computer and then play them through OBS directly instead of capturing, like, YouTube or something. I think that's what I do. I'd, like, choose a few to watch ahead of time. But then I'm worried people will request some. I don't know. Wait, I'm going backwards. I was too busy thinking about future streams and not thinking about the stream I'm doing. Alright. Let me go over here. Okay, so nothing in there. No! That sucks. That is so much backtracking. Holy moly. That really blows. Oh, that's how you change weapons. And that's the jetpack. Which I don't have fuel for yet. Can I go this way? Nope. Hey, Nasaria. Oh, cool. Well, thanks for watching my videos. And yeah, I remember, isn't the Super Nintendo game of this? You kind of just fly around in a circle and it's really bad. I'm like way too scatterbrained right now. I can't read the chat and play right now. <laughs> Which was the best and worst so far? That's a hard question. Um, I don't know. Letter R, the only thing I've written down ha has been, like, because, you know, there was games like River City Ransom, which I already know I want to do a stream of, like, I like it. Um, it'd be fun to come back to when my hands feel better. But the only one I have written down is Robo Warrior. <laughs> and that game wasn't great, but it was entertaining, and I knew I would forget the name of it if I didn't write it down. Um, I did, like, I like regular RoboCop on NES. I don't hate it. I kind of like it. And, um... But for the worst, I don't know. I, I don't know what the worst R game was. I'm trying to think. But I know there's been some stuff that sucks pretty bad. Hello, Ellie. What's up? Did I win a golf tournament for that jacket for this? This is just a cardigan. <laughs> Does it look like a golf tournament sweater? All right. So I think I'm going to move on from this. It's fine. It just, it takes forever to get, um, the, uh, the jet fuel. So next up is Rockin' Cats. People like this game a lot. This is one of those rare games that's probably pretty expensive. Um, I remember liking it. Um, oh yeah, that's the stage selection. Um, and you can, like, swing around by, like, holding onto stuff. I remember that. The Super Nintendo Rocketeer actually has different segments where you fly a plane and even shooting parts like wild guns. Oh, really? 
That's cool. I don't I don't think I've ever actually played the Super Nintendo Rocketeer. I've just seen it in like videos and stuff. Do I also hate that mouse? Wait, what? What? I missed what the screen was saying because I was too busy looking at the chat. <laughs> yes, this, this is fine. Okay, so this is our little hand and we can punch and... Whoa. Wait, how do we... I'm trying to get a hang of the controls. Can't you swing off stuff? Maybe not th those things. Oh, but this we can, right? Yeah. Hold on. How do I swing? Oh, I double tap A. I mean, B. So I, hold on, I grab onto it, then I press it again, and that's what makes me swing. And then I press it again, okay. Oh my god, get off me! <laughs> oh yeah, we can do that too. I wanna do that again. Cause can't you like, bounce on it, like, kinda like, ducktails? Maybe not. Oh, you can spin on these. Okay. Ah! We're not doing too good. Okay, that worked. Oh, that hurt me. I thought it was giving me a item or something. <laughs> All right, so I was just messing with the controls there. Let's see. I want that money. There we go. Where are these poodles trying to kill us? far. Damn it. No. Whatever. Ah, oh, shoot. I walked right into that. Damn it. So I'm guessing I have to fly off this part. No, not that way. Okay, that worked. Let's see, can I get up there? No! Okay, let's go this way. There we go. Yay, we got some health back. Now it's boss time? Or what's over here? I think I do have to go off these poles, because why else would they be here? Whee! I like this game. I'm not doing too good. Oh, he's pissed now. No! So, was that a boss? I don't even know. Come on. Now I'm gonna go the wrong side, probably. Nope, that worked out. Yeah, this game's not bad.
I just, I suck at this part. Oh my god. Get, I hate when like, sprites just stay on top of you and don't give you a second to like, get a, to get away. Loose carts are over 150 on eBay. This was on a kiosk at Blockbuster back in the day. I remember playing it for a bit. Oh, that's cool. Okay, let's fly over here. Nope. Hey, breakpoint. All right. Yeah, we'll get to Rolling Thunder. I'm, my plan is to finish up R on this stream. There's not too many left. sending me this way. I'm gonna keep going to the right. I feel like I'm supposed to be going to the right. Do I go down here? <gasps> We're in the subway now! Oh no! We're on letter R. And yeah, roller games is also coming up. I like roller games. go faster and slower. I didn't know that. Oh, now it's the boss. Uh-oh. Oh, I could have also gone on top of the subway train. That's cool. I don't know what I do here. Like, am I missing something? I don't know what I do here. Oh, punch down. That's a good idea. Like, punch down, then up. Ah! Good idea, Sergio. Thank you. All right. No. No. Okay, come on. Get up there. Fucker. Ah! No! No, not game over. Ah. All right, so that's Rockin' Cats. I think it's pretty good. I'll write it down, because I, I always forget about this game. That could be a fun stream someday. Okay, oh gosh, Roger Clemens, MVP baseball, another baseball game. Did I pre-order Taylor's version of 1989? I did. But you know what, I'm getting so tired of hearing about her that it's like, I like her, but 
I'm just, I'm tired <laughs> of hearing, it's like every little thing has been Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift, and I'm like, oh my god, like since she started dating that, dating that base, uh, football player, it's like, I'm like, I don't care, <laughs> like I'm tired of hearing about it, <laughs> I'm tired of hearing about it, <sighs> oh god, and that's coming from me who likes her, I'm just like, it's too much, it's too much. All right, Roger Clemens MVP baseball. She's coming to Argentina, that's cool. I don't know what to do. Uh, regular season, I guess. Oh. I'm just pressing buttons. Can I just... Okay, there we go. Maybe just because, like, it was there's been so many baseball games, but, like, I feel like I've played this one before. Like, it was called something else. I don't know. I mean, it's a baseball game. Oh, that wasn't good. Aw. Oh, I'm out. Darn. I <laughs> like darn. Yay. <laughs> Aw. All right. I'm good. <laughs> I felt my like brain just melting. Alright, rollerball. Okay, this is, I think this is a, this is the pinball game. There's so many NES games with the word roller in it. I'm trying to remember like all of them. Let's see, am I right? I am right! Oh shoot, I didn't know what we were... like New York City themed. Oh. I like pinball games. They're fun to play and just kind of space out. I don't know. They're fun. Probably not so fun to watch play on a stream, but I think they're entertaining to play by yourself. Yeah, the music's not bad. When I'm looking for music for videos, I should think about pinball game uh, soundtracks. I never think about using music for that. There's another layer. That's crazy. Oh, okay, now it's it's over. <laughs> All right, so that was cool. So that was rollerball, and next up is rollerblade racer. This is the one. This is the rollerblading game that sucks. It's basically like um like shitty paperboy. It's easy to zone out to one of these pinball games. Yeah, it's just, it's fun. It's it's like a fun, they're fun games to play when you're tired and you just want something like chill to play. 
All right, so rollerblade racer, here we go. So this is Kirk and he just brought a new pair of rollerblades and he's real smug about it. Look at that face. Do you want to practice? Yeah, we'll, we'll practice, we'll practice. Cause I don't remember the controls. Look at him go. So, okay, we're just running around and we jump. So that's the only button, okay. Am I supposed to go like on the sidewalk? I don't remember. Oh. <laughs> Am I supposed to be on the sidewalk? I don't know if I'm supposed to be on the sidewalk or not, but anyway, all right, so I think we're good. So now we're playing for real. Oh my god, you, yeah, you gotta watch out for the cracks and like... And the open potholes. This is a horrible city. They don't have any funding. Oh my god. And it's just the same shit over and over again. It's just the dog, the kid on the bike, the potholes. Yeah, they need better infrastructure. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> See, if you fall down the sewer, you should be able to rollerblade in the sewers. See, that would make it awesome. They don't know what they're doing when they were making this. Yeah, it's like Paperboy, but Paperboy's actually fun. This is just like very repetitive and it sucks. <laughs> so I'm gonna move on. But anyway. Rollerblade Racer, I don't like. But roller games. Roller games, I do like. Aaron should send in a written re complaint. <laughs> yeah, I know. Some people don't like Paperboy. I like Paperboy. I think it's fun. I didn't skip any letters. Yeah, there's a Paperboy game on Super Nintendo, and then there's one on N64. That one's kind of weird, but I like the ones on um, NES and Genesis and Super Nintendo. Alright, which team do we want to join? Hot Flash, that's a funny name. Let's, let's join Team Hot Flash, why not? Oh, there's an arcade version of this? I didn't know that. I guess there would be. Um, this one, I think it's pretty fun. Okay. Whoa, no! So you can like punch people. <laughs> Whoa. Oh shoot. <gasps> we went down the sewer! Oh! No! Shoot! I keep falling down the hole. <laughs> B does a special move. Oh, cool. Oh my god. I am not doing well. Let's try it again. 
Let's be the rockers this time. Enter my zone and you'll never... Oh, I skipped out of it on accident. But I remember I played this for a while on stream a while back. And I started to get better at it, but that was a very long time ago. But I don't think it's doing a special move. Maybe I have to press it at a certain time. Oh my god, we fell off the side. to get further and then and then I die right away that sounds about right who's throwing the barrels I don't know someone that is very angry we're rollerblading on their turf there's a rollerblading brawl no I fell down the hole again anyway so that's roller games. I think it's fun. It just takes some practice to get a hang of it. Oh no, I don't want to play these. I'll play one of them. So this is Romance of the Three Kingdoms. It's one of those, uh, yeah, those Koei games. I don't want to play this. Yeah, Donkey Kong's throwing the barrels. <laughs> oh, it was A button plus B button? Damn, I wish I saw that earlier, Meat Wisdom, sorry. It's like a strategy game. All right, so I'm gonna skip those because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know my strategy games. I, I don't know what I'm doing. And so this is round ball two on two challenge. Uh, is this gonna be a basketball game? Yep. Whoa. That was loud. Two on two challenge. Let's do one on one or. Whoa. Look at that guy. His head looks interesting. Let's be him. How do I... How do I select somebody? Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. At all. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Three seconds in the key. All right, I'm that's enough of that. And the next up is Russian attack. Destroy the enemy's secret weapon. Good luck. All right. <laughs> Hello, big time gamer. 
Castlevania baseball? That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Oh, this is kind of screwed up. The color on this one's messy. Yeah, I'm excited to play Rygar. I never got super far in that. By super far, I mean I've never gotten far at all in it. <laughs> but, um, I know it's, it's supposed to be a good game. Can I climb up here? This is weird. Oh, so it's one of those where you press up to jump. Yeah, or the ROMs messed up. I hate games where you press up to jump. It drives me crazy. Like, in Karate Kid, I guess it makes sense since you need the other buttons, but like... In this game, it's like, really? Do, do I really need to press up to jump? <sighs> it's like so hard to jump like s sideways in it. You recently played this? Do you like this game? I don't think I like it. <laughs> the arcade version is probably better. That's usually the case. See, I can't... Whatever, fuck it. I'm getting pissed. <laughs> anyway, next up is Rygar. So this was a game that everyone wished I included when I did my uh, Top 10 Sunsets video. People um, were mad I didn't include this because of the sunrise, sunset. And it is a nice sunset, I'll give it that. Whoa, that didn't count. You should do a full playthrough of this, Wolfmaster. That'd be cool. Ooh. No, I thought I was gonna fall. Oh my gosh. Is this where I'm screwed up to? Shoot. That's okay. You should have overlooked Rygar today as an inside joke. No one would get that. <laughs> People would be like, why is she skipping Rygar? Like, nobody remembers that video. <laughs> some, some of you guys remember it, but... Hold on, let me start over. Here. I was getting comfortable. Alright, there we go. And I still got hit a lot. Fuck it. We'll keep going. What video? The top 10 sunsets video. Well, because I was saying people were mad I didn't include this in the video. Because this first stage has a pretty epic sunset in it. Whoa! I don't know what that does. Whoa. Shoot! Oh, you can jump on enemies? I didn't know that. 
Yeah, this is fucked up. Damn it. I cleaned the hell out of the NES. Uh, let's clean it again together as a family. But it could just be the ROM. Or it could be my EverDrive. It could be a number of things. Thank you so much, Typey97, for subscribing for three months. Thank you. Happy October to you, too. I can't believe we're already, like, in October. It's crazy. I would say I'm not prepared, but I'm actually pretty prepared. I've been filming a lot of videos of the Halloween nature. Alright, let's see if that helped at all. October is scare onion, er, onion, <laughs> scare Aaron month. No, don't scare me. Okay, let's see. Oh, fuck. Can everything just work? Like, wouldn't that be cool? If everything just worked. So I use this little cleaner thing again. Let's try it. See, this is the joy of using original hardware. There we go. All right. Rygar. Hello, Mr. Shig. What's up? I'm good. How are you? Windex is your go-to now for cleaning carts. Yeah, a lot of people use Windex. Use whatever you want. I know it's a controversial subject. All right, this looks a lot better. Let's hope it stays that way. And I'll start putting out my Halloween Halloween videos soon. Probably uh, next week sometime. Whoa! No! You looking forward to my Halloween stream? Um. Yeah, we're gonna be playing some Castlevania soon. I just wanted to get uh get through letter R on this on these alphabetical streams. But as we get closer to Halloween, I'll bust out some costumes and all that fun stuff. Woo! Wah! So I know a lot of people are really familiar with this game. I haven't played it a lot because I didn't grow up with it or anything. And I don't really know what I'm doing. So please be patient. <laughs> oh shit. So that just disappeared. Okay. Yeah, see, it was totally screwed up here. So cleaning the NES helped. Good. I just remember we talked to a guy and then he said something that I'm blanking on right now, but it's something that people quote. I remember that much. The Sony Walkman stuff. What do you mean? I used to have a Sony Walkman. Well, I still have it. Oh, this guy. In the Grand Mountains lies the entrance to Garlow's. I feel like people say this <laughs> a lot. So we gotta find Garlow's or Gar Garlaws. And I'm not sure how we find it. Oh shit. Oh! 
No! Not game over. That's okay. So that's Rygar. I don't know what I'm doing. And now it's time for the unlicensed stuff. Oh, not more not more baseball, not more baseball. I don't want to play more baseball. RBI, RBI baseball two and three. Ugh. Oh, they're Walkman MP3 players. Oh, that's cool. Skip it. I'll turn it on at least so you can see what it looks like. But that's about it. That's cool, let's see. Aaron loves sports games. Uh. Hey! There it goes. Out. Darn. Okay. So that's what the second one looks like. Let's see what the third one looks like. Thank you so much, Galaga Boy, for subscribing for three months. Thank you so much. Looks like a baseball game, says Yoshi, right? It's like, yep, that's a baseball game. And I'm sure this one's also going to look like a baseball game. This looks exactly the same. It's like the same graphics. I thought it would look slightly different. Damn it. I have been to a baseball game and I was very bored. If, okay, so it looks the same. And now we have Rad Racket Deluxe Tennis. Yay! <laughs> I like the name of this Rad Racket. That's pretty funny. It's not letting me choose anybody. I guess we're that guy. I'm so bad at these. Some tennis games are really fun though. But the NES ones, I just, I, I can't. Oh, come on. Anyway, so that's the tennis, that's tennis for you. <laughs> and next is Roadrunner. No problem, Wolfmaster. Thanks for hanging out. So this is Roadrunner, as in the Roadrunner from Looney Tunes. And you're trying to run from, run from Wile E. Coyote, and you gotta get food also, because if you run out of food, you stop running, I think. And then you get caught like that. So now we know. There. What it looks like when you get caught. <laughs> oh god, he got fast. He got roller skates. He got roller skates. <laughs> it gets really hectic. Ah! Ah! No! <laughs> this game's kind of fun though. I don't hate it. Oh, we got hit. We got ran over. strategy just go around him in circles when he has the roller skates oh gosh it 
<laughs> Yay! End of level one! We did it! Is it better than Crazy Castle? No. I think Crazy Castle's better. Crazy Castle's great. Oh, I was- I looked at the chat. Ah! Shoot. No! Well, things just escalated a lot. Now it's 8-bit Flight of the Bumblebee. <laughs> right? Isn't- aren't the song choices great? Alright, anyway, so that's Roadrunner. Robo Demons. This is Color Dreams, right? I think. Yep. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Robo Demons. Was Roadrunner an Atari game? I'm not sure. It was- oh, an Atari arcade game. Yes, it was an arcade game. Robo Demons. This looks scary. I remember I tried this because I really liked the um, name of it and I thought I was like oh this is gonna be like a shitty but fun game but I think it's just bad. But I don't remember anything about this because that was a very long time ago so we'll see. Oh it's just like one of these. Oh we're already playing. So we have a little boomerang. Do I get the happy face? Oh, I get the happy face. But not the sign of death. Okay. It's flashing so much. That was an interesting sound. Can I hit those things? Am I happy with the happy face? Do, do I like the happy face? Oh my god, that sound. <laughs> this sucks. I think it could be a better happy face. do anything oh I guess it did kill that thing but we didn't make it <laughs> what I can't even read what that says demon Cole is waiting for you on level 7 well level 7 is pretty far away since we're only on level 1 right now have lost this battle. Push A and start to return. <sighs> I want to see the skeletons in space. Why aren't there the skeletons? They're on the title screen. Maybe that's in level two, which I doubt we'll ever get to. Defeat death to enter Hades. All right, let's go defeat death. This is great. This is great theming though. It's hilarious. Like, this weapon blows. What? What's the problem? The level of bone? <laughs> what the fuck? Ah! So now it turns into, like, a side-scroller? This is crazy! Oh my god, he's pushing his head around. It's like hard to see what you're looking at. What even killed me? I couldn't see anything. The 
This is so bad. Why is there blood right there? <gasps> ah! <laughs> and the thing's just shooting. Yeah, Mike's playing ghost, new Ghostbusters too. That game I like, and then I get stuck eventually, and then I get very upset. So I've never like beaten that game. <gasps> you can't jump on those. It looks like you're supposed to jump on those. You have lost this battle. Well, I'm gonna have to live with that. All right, next is Rolling Thunder. Hey, rogue username, what's up? Thanks for stopping by the stream. All right. Rolling Thunder. So this is a game I haven't played a ton, but I like what I played of it, and I think it's funny that your legs are so long. I feel like I've played a different version of it, though. Oh yeah, you, you check the doors for stuff, right? Or something. Ah! I forget what we're checking the doors for. There's Genesis versions of Rolling Thunder 2 and 3, oh, okay. Yeah, Codename Viper, I remember liking that. This is the precursor to Shinobi, really? Do the people who make this make Shinobi? Yeah, this will go up on YouTube. I'm gonna combine it with the last art stream I did. Shinobi copied this playstyle. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, it's it's pretty similar. I thought you meant like it was literally like tied to it somehow. I can control Shinobi better. I feel like I have an easier time with Shinobi though. I'm talking about the arcade game. Maybe just because I'm used to it. Because I've played the arcade game a lot. This I haven't played a lot. I hate that this is one hit. Drives me crazy. I'll try it one more time. And then I gotta go edit. Ooh. Come on, let's try to get further. Every time I say, let's try to get further, that's when I get hit. <sighs> yeah, I believe this was Tengen. It's one hit because it's a, po a port of the arcade game. I, yeah, I guess. start me? Is it gonna start me from the very beginning? Fuck. 
I wish I still had my gun. And hello, Big Edith. Happy Saturday to you, too. Oh, we died. I'll continue. We'll try it. We'll try it a little bit more. Imagine walking out a door and getting shot immediately. That would suck. It's not my birthday, get hyper die trying. Let's go get our bullets. Oh, shoot. No! slower. Shit! It spawned me right where that motherfucker was. <sighs> that is so annoying. Like, I couldn't do anything about it. played the second one of this for so for those of you who have played these like what's the best one like is the second one better or is this the best one I'm curious to see what you guys think and hello Willoughby what's up this might be a future onion stream I can't believe I said onion earlier instead of Aaron I should not be streaming. <laughs> I I am a mess of a human being. Alright. Come on, come down here. Whee! Ah, oh, shit. Do I just keep going back and forth? I don't get what I do. You like two on Genesis a lot? Okay, I'll have to look into that one. Go up and right. I don't think I could go right. We'll try it again. Oh, God! Thank you so much, Kaplan Effects, for subscribing. For 31 whole months, thank you. All humans are messes. <laughs> Onion, it's okay. Thank you. I'm sorry, there's the links aren't enabled in the chat, Spinzig, but um I I will check out the monster in my pocket thing. I just keep forgetting. I don't know why I keep trying this. I just, I, I want to get further. That's the problem with these games in me. It's like, I just keep, they become addicting even though I'm dying all the time. Maybe that's my sign to stop. <laughs> Here. Gotta go slower.
Just search Weebly Monster in my pocket and you'll find it? Okay. I will check that out. Okay, let's go up here. Ah, shit. Well, I went the right way, but I died right away. This is so annoying that it starts you all the way in the beginning. Why am I still trying? I'll, I'll stop after this game over. Because I, I do gotta edit, but like... I want to get further. It's driving me crazy. This is the original arcade version is the definitive. The original arcade version of one is the definitive best. This is a pretty good adaptation to go. <laughs> All right. Good to know. I'm just doing so bad at it. I wanted to blame it on the port, but I guess it's a good port. Two on the Genesis, Eater Jam, great port of the arcade. I'll have to try the Genesis uh, second one. I'm curious to see what that's like, because I haven't seen any gameplay of it or anything. I don't think I have. I know, aren't these legs really long? I guess that's why he can walk so fast. Everyone has long legs in this world. Long Legs McGee. That should be his name. Alright, let's get the good gun. No, don't, don't, don't spawn me here. Oh my god, I thought it was gonna spawn me on top of that guy. That would be bad. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. No! I am so upset. I am so upset that I kept trying over and over again. <laughs> and then I just got shot right when I went up. Right when I went up. Anyway, guys, I think that's it for letter R. Oh my god. Look at that guy. <laughs> I didn't expect to see that. He's laughing at me. I need to go edit. <laughs> Have a good night. See you next time. Bye.